got on the phone call with them. They told us they had called their CEO to tell them about the results because they were so excited. Have you looked at like the synergies or conflicts of having everything together? I mentioned this, the senescent study that we ran. We also ran a DNA damage study at i Life Sciences, where they study specifically longevity drugs for pharma and biotech. They warned us before the study that they didn't expect us to see any DNA protective effects from Novoscore because they had studied the individual ingredients in Novoscore and there was no real benefit from them. They've done about $7 million worth of studies. Well, after a couple months went by and they ran the study, they sent us an email and we got on a phone call with them. They told us they had called their CEO to tell them about the results because they were so excited. At different dosages, the best dosage reduced DNA damage to human cells by 77%. The cells were irradiated and we compared to the control where there was no Novo score and we compared it to non-irradiated cells. And then we did the Novo score at different dosages. And the best case was a 77% reduction in damage from the irradiation. And and on average, across the dosages, it was a 68% reduction in DNA damage. That's unheard of. Like that is just such an extremely high result that it's extremely exciting, uh, enough for them to call their CEO. So it was counterintuitive to them because of how much research they had done. That's an example of how different ingredients combined can be much more powerful than when you have one single ingredient in isolation.